climate change analysts have calculated that burning 1000 tons of fossil carbon results in one premature death and they are predicting that at the current rate at which we are guzzling fossil fuels it will result in 1 billion premature deaths in the next century all the climate change analysts and activists have been repeatedly warning the world about how much danger lies ahead of us but the world continues to unabatedly consume these fossil fuels without paying heed to any of these warnings now why does this happen why do people don't pay heed to these warning signals which are already very prominently seen because lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita aparem itasku anyam prakritim me vidhi param jeeva bhuta mahabaho yeyedam dharyate jagat this material world which basically comprises of earth water fire air space mind intelligence and the ego these eight elements constitute the material nature which is known as inferior nature why inferior because it does not have consciousness and the living entity jiva bhuta is possessing consciousness and therefore it is a superior energy now this superior energy of krishna the living entity is trying to dominate over the inferior energy by exploiting it and manipulating it but fact is the living entity still is subordinate to krishna and therefore it cannot exercise complete control over material nature and therefore we do not know what are the ramifications of our actions we may manipulate the inferior energy to extract fossil fuels and use that for various purposes but the ultimate uh, ramifications which are arising out of such an exploitation we have no control over it so therefore what we have to understand is we are an we are a subordinate energy of krishna and the material nature is also a subordinate energy of krishna and we as being we being subordinate energies of krishna we have to utilize the inferior material energy of krishna in a responsible way for the service of krishna not for our own enjoyment when we become responsible by this what happens we do not create the negative effects that we are seeing born out of such an exploitative tendency so lead an environmentally responsible life by chanting hare krishna reading the bhagavad gita understanding that you are a subordinate energy of krishna and overcoming the exploitative tendency of human nature thank you hare krishna